president uh, agree with Dr. Fauci that we do not have total control over this outbreak? The president believes in the phase guidelines to reopening, which Dr. Fauci signed off, to, off on along with Dr. Birx, and we encourage every state and governor to follow. Yes. Thank you, Kaylee. The president said on Monday that Florida has so much testing that testers are literally sitting around waiting for people and that there is a, quote, great overcapacity. Yet the reality in the state is there are still widespread uh, criticism, reports of not enough testing in the uh, Kaiser Family Foundation ranks Florida 24th in the country per capita when it comes to testing. So is the president being overly optimistic about the situation in Florida? Not in the slightest. I was actually in the Oval Office um, when that discussion transpired, and the governor, a Florida Governor DeSantis, who's doing a phenomenal job, talked about that there were, um, there was um, over-testing ability at these sites, so there were ex extra tests. There wasn't enough demand. There weren't people showing up to use them all. He said that that had happened around some sites in the state. He saw it firsthand. He's the governor of Florida, um, and, and that's a good thing, and we're able to fulfill Governor DeSantis's plan in full that he has laid out as necessary to reopening the state of Florida, which happens to be my great home state. Yes. The data does not support that, Kaylee. So is the president just listening to the governor, or is he looking at the data? Oh, he's looking at the data. As I noted to you, Admiral Joie has a chart of every single governor's plan and has said we will fulfill every single governor's plan. Um, governor DeSantis was reporting what he had seen at distinct facilities uh, or drive-through testing sites. Yes. Yes. Um, with the uh, restarting of the economies on both sides of the Canadian and U.S. border, uh, you know how much trade between the two sides are essential for communities. Uh, can you update us on the plans for reopening and also a timeline for reopening the border? Yeah, no announcements on that front this today. Yep. Chanel? Thank you. Um, with the release of the transcripts related to Adam Schiff's record probe this week, uh, do you have, is there any information you can share with us as to what the DOJ has shared with the White House on whether it is investigating Obama uh, administration officials on this matter? So I don't have any updates on that from because that's currently a DOJ matter. Um, but you did refer to transcripts, and I do think it's an important moment um, to talk about what was in some of the transcripts that were released prior to today, so not the specific ones that you're asking about. But we learned from newly released transcripts a few things. We learned that what some Obama officials were saying publicly was much different than what they were saying privately. Uh, James Clapper was out there saying that um, he had evidence that this was worse than Watergate. Um, when, in fact, a few weeks later, he was saying privately, I never saw any direct empirical evidence that the Trump campaign or someone in it was plotting or conspiring with Russia. Samantha Power said, I am not in possession of anything. I am not in possession and didn't read or absorb any information that came out of the intelligence community suggesting collusion. Ambassador Rice, I don't recall intelligence or evidence to that effect. Former Attorney General Loretta Lynch, I can't say that it, if it existed or not, I don't recall that being briefed up to me. So it brings the question, it brings the question to light. Why then did we have many years of investigating collusion that these Obama administration officials never existed, they never saw any evidence of, but for three years the American people were dragged through the mud and told that their choice for the President of the United States might have been a Russian asset based on no evidence of all at all. Uh, this President was exonerated by the Mueller report, um, and there are some real questions for these individuals who are saying one thing, pu thing publicly and another thing privately. Thank you so much. I think I got to all of you, and we'll be back soon.